Elliott in Jersey. It's okay. Hey. The front lounge is where we hang out most of the time. We watch TV on our Panasonic flat screen TV. <laughs> oh, this is kind of sweet. You take the little thing and when you're off the bus, you put it on the other side so you don't get oil spotted, which means left behind. That would suck. So I'm going to put this back right here. There we go. This is the AC unit. It's usually not on a comfortable temperature. It's usually either really hot or cold. Whatever. You can't win all the time. We got this from, uh, I think we got this from a, Ultimate yeah. Ears. Ultimate Ears. Oh, yeah. Ultimate Ears. <laughs> we use Ultimate Ears. And uh, they gave us a free little iPod house thing. Oh, my iPod station. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Um, so we were sitting, I was sitting here this morning and we couldn't find a remote for a very long time and I seriously was sitting here and I was like, I wish we could find a remote and it was sitting right here. As I said it, I looked and I freaked out. It was awesome. We haven't been able to use the, the, the sink in our bus for about two or three weeks. Um, so as it turns out, uh, every time we washed our hands, we felt this really, we smelled this really weird, awkward stink, and none of us wanted to talk about it because we thought it was just like a hygienic problem until we realized it's actually um, the funky cheese stink sink. Yeah. And it stinks like cheese, and actually this morning it looked like cheese was growing out of the faucet. <laughs> Um, Johnny, Johnny Jeans, um, our bus driver, removed the funky cheese from the faucet. But I don't know if that's really saying that there won't be more to come. So. There probably will be more to come, definitely. These are, uh, these are little beads that we got in New Orleans on our last tour of the Fall Boy. That's our tour manager, Duncan. He's oh, the man. Yeah. Hey, everybody. He usually hangs out in the back, but we'll get uh, to that cool. later. Um, our day sheets usually go right here. Here's like the times and everything, and then our press schedule is right there usually. I've got our toaster, our, uh, uh, for the people that can drink in the band, uh, which are of age. Jersey and Mike are the only ones of age, so we've got some alcohol here for them. And <laughs> this is uh, this is our friend Wally. Is he on? Yeah, yeah, switch him. Okay. He's pretty sweet. He like moves around and stuff, and uh, the other one. No, no, right, right there, no, left, 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 right there, yeah. Okay, well, this fridge smells like duty, and uh, we don't know why, but here's stuff in there. I got a snack pack today, and I'm really stoked about it, it's vanilla, and, oh, God. <laughs> and, uh, some ranch, some hummus, um, there's raspberry tea, some jam, and some other stuff in there. I'm gonna close it because I'm about to throw up. And this is our freezer, which it kind of is like a glorified fridge because it doesn't really keep anything frozen at all. But it does the job. And then here's the bathroom. Hey, oh, what's up? In there. This is the bathroom. It's pretty spacious, air vent. Three lights, they're supposed to be a light there, but it's not working. There's two rules to the bathroom that we try to maintain on this bus. There's no number two down the toilet, and there's no any kind of paper or anything else, any other type of solid that goes down there, only liquid, and that's how you flush it. But for some reason, no matter how many times you flush it, this weird, like, yellowish, clear substance just, like, kind of chills in, like, the bottom of the toilet. <laughs> uh, we don't really know why, it just, chills. like, does that. Um, and that's the bathroom. This is the uh, shoe rack. Most of them, actually, no, it's pretty equal. Pretty equal between all of us. Um, oh, the, the microwave is pretty sweet. It's got auto frost, which you don't find that much these days. <laughs> and then this is Alex and Jersey's claimed closet. Everything's hung up, and there's some dirty clothes down there. There's a. Oh, sorry. A cowboy hat. I don't know what it's used for. But. And then there's a pair of Macbeth shoes up there. They're pretty sweet. 40% off journeys the other day at the Mall of America. Sweet. Oh, and then we had this um, dry erase board, and someone ruined it with Sharpie. I'm not sure who it was, but it, it said, Cass, I love you, and then I don't even know what this says, but Liz, sick? I don't know. Weird. This is Hey Monday's bunk area. Up here, top left, is Elliot mm, James. Uh, Cass sleeps right below me, but um, I've gotten really into uh, using duct tape recently make different like compartments for all my stuff oh, wow. so I've got like one for my phone one for my iPod one for my glasses 
one for my little bear friend right here. <laughs> and then one down by my feet where I keep like my That's DVDs crazy. and like my beanie, my accessories. But I, I try to keep pretty clean because a messy bunk isn't a fun bunk. This is my bunk. And my bunk's kind of messy because I, um, I, wear so I wear something for the show and then I change out of it into pajamas and then I just throw them to the end of the bunk by my feet and I usually end up being too lazy to go back into the bays and get out my other outfits for a few days so then it kind of piles up and then I have to, uh, it's like weird. And they get all wrinkly and, but you know, I'm, I'd rather just go to sleep right away than go into the bays and stuff. And, uh, here's my computer black MacBook, and uh, here I'll show you the background to it because I think it's just the cutest thing ever. Whoa. Some Friday Night Boys. This is my dog, Domino. He's awesome. And I miss him. Jersey's down there. Oh, hey. <laughs> Welcome. It's my bunk. So, um, my bunk is pretty, pretty, uh, complex actually. Just saying. Um, I got my, my little buddies here. They keep me company at night. <laughs> keep me from uh, missing mom and dad. Um, I use the wires coming down from my uh, TV screen here to hold my glasses, keys, tour laminate. I've got what I consider my junk drawer. Um, you know, everyone's gotta have a junk drawer in their bedroom, right? So I keep my, uh, my earphone, like my earplugs, all that stuff, my camera, um, power cables for different things, my passport, safekeeping. Um, I've got some little wire holders up here that go over here to my little bungee area where I keep my computer. And the cool thing about my computer contraption is I can keep it open while I sleep and keep an away message on. Um, not many people uh, really jumped on that train, but that's one of my favorite things about my bunk. I've got my phone holder. Thank goodness for 3M clips. Love them to death. Um, I managed to luck out and I, I know that some people on this bus only have one air vent. I've got one here. I've got two too. There. Look at that, on top of the world. But uh, yeah, I got my, uh, my, my nice purple pillowcase, my nice purple blanket. Um, if I was a little more equipped, I was gonna put a nice black mysterious sheet on my mattress, but I didn't get that far, sorry. But uh, yeah, that's my bunk. Nice, I like it. My neighbor is our tour manager, we call him daddy. Duncan, he's not in there, but he's very quiet and he's a good neighbor. He's awesome. And this is our, our uh, sound guys, Chris V's uh, bunk. And I don't, oh no, this is Joe's, I'm sorry. Joe sleeps with his curtain kind of open. So when I wake up, I get to look at his face as he's sleeping, but I can't really tell if his eyes are open or not. So it gets a little kind of creepy, right? but he's not a creep, so it's all good. Uh, here's Mike Gentile's bunk, hey. our guitarist. What's up? This is my bunk. Um, I've got my headphones or whatever, you know, headphones here. I've got this little guy or girl, whatever, I'm, I'm confused because it says Mike, but I, it seems like it's a girl, so I don't really know. Um, a fan got it for me. It's cute. I keep it in my bunk with me. This is my little, um, contraption holder. I've got sunglasses, I've got some yen oh and God. pounds because you never know when you're gonna go to Japan or the UK. I've got this sweet TV here, rotating head <laughs> screen thing, but I never use it. It's just there to like, for show, for occasions like this. Um, my bet, my walk is usually pretty messy because I just kind of like, like throw stuff in here during the day, like in between like running in and out and I'm always kind of busy and then like the last thing I want to do is kind of like clean it. Not that it's like gross, but there's just stuff everywhere like computer chargers. There's change everywhere because like when I, I get my per diem and then I go, I'll go get food with like money and then they'll give me, it'll be like three dollars and seven cents so I'll get like 90 something cents back every time and I'll put it in my pocket and then before the show, I empty my pockets and I'll just throw all the change in my bunk. So I'll wake up every morning and I'll have like dimes and pennies and quarters stuck to my body and I don't realize it until I go to the bathroom and like I'm brushing my teeth and then I look up and I see like a penny like on my nipple. And that's my bunk. Hi. This is Alex Lipshaw. 
I was sleeping. I was really sleeping. No, I wasn't really sleeping. <laughs> I was watching the whole thing. This is my bunk. It's, I keep it really basic. Uh, I try to keep it really clean too. I just have the TV that everyone else has. I like to hit my head on it a lot. It's really, it's kind of hard talking while I'm laying down. It's kind of weird. This is where I keep all my stuff, my iPod, my headphones down there. Uh, I have two tour passes since we've been on this bus. Well, one of them wasn't on this bus, but so. Um, and my wallet, a TV remote that doesn't work for anything on the bus. <laughs> and my sunglasses. Got that. And I, I got my phone charged up. Yeah, that's all I got. My bunk's real basic, but it's clean. Like, look on. It's organized, right? It's good. Now we're gonna head to the back lounge and see what's going on back there. Oh, look who it is. It's our tour manager, Duncan, taking care of some business. I see he's got some passes to the show tonight in Chicago. Sold out. That's right, you That's know. Right. <laughs> hold it down. Um, hold it down. Alex is back here again. It's all good. And this is Joe, our guitar tech. And he's playing um, an awesome guitar. Flying V, yeah. And it was like 75 bucks. Mike bought it actually, like the first few days of tour. We, we all jam on it sometimes. Best guitar ever. Totally. And it sounds amazing. Plugged in. It stays in tune real <laughs> See, it stays in tune and everything. Um, we've got another TV. It's not as nice as the one up there, but nobody really comes back here because he, um, Duncan does all his work back here. There's some contract thing that I just signed because I sang on a Cobra Starship song. And um, I don't even know what any of this is. This is what a Hey Monday, Let's Make a Mess Tour Pass looks like. So you guys should copy them and I'll come and hang out. <laughs> just kidding, don't do that. We'll do it, I don't care. A uh, bag of Sharpies that he always gives us before after shows and we all sign and stuff. And it sucks because we lose them all the time. Fans walk away with them. It's all good. And um, he's obsessed with Incubus, Duncan is, so he's got a DVD and um, he just got a vinyl and stuff, so it's all back here. Some rubber bands, some other compartments that we keep stuff in. Um, my shoes are back there. There's a Guitar Hero guitars, but uh, we didn't bring the game, so it kind of doesn't make any sense. And that's about it. Back lounge. Thank you for checking out our tour bus. We really appreciated your time, but you gotta get out of here because we have to do stuff. Oh, this door doesn't work well. <laughs>